The number one question people ask me is how do you maintain white furniture? And I wanted to address this once and for all. And let me say this here, this is for all light colored furniture. So if you like beige, you like light gray, all these tips are gonna apply. We're not using any bleach or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about it. Now, if you have kids, if you have pets, if you yourself are messy, this video is for you. And I'm gonna tell you one thing, I am super messy. My wife, she spills a glass of something absolutely every day. I always have paint on my hands or dirt or ink and I'm like, oops, sorry. So I'm gonna show you how we troubleshoot that because you should be able to have a beautiful home and a home that you can also live in comfortably. Now, before we jump into this video, I do wanna say thanks to Walmart for sponsoring this video. I am a Walmart creator and almost all of the products today are from Walmart and they're all from Walmart because they're super affordable because taking care of your furniture shouldn't be expensive. The furniture itself was expensive in the first place so maintaining it shouldn't be as well because if that is the case, let's just sit on the floor because that's way too much. So let's just jump right into today's video. The product I want to talk about is the paper towel. And you're like, come on now, keep up. But I feel like I really do need to say this because I know that we love the colored rags and the colored towels and we'll just grab whatever when like there's a stain. But I really do want you to go in with a paper towel or a washcloth, a paper towel or a washcloth because they are white. They are white, so they're not going to put off any color onto that stained piece of furniture. This is such a simple step, but a step you really need to take because I've made this mistake so many times I wanna cry, but you have to start with a paper towel. So once you have your paper towels, right, you have stained something or you're like, I'm finally gonna tackle this stain. And this, this video is for stains that are new and for old. Then I want you to grab some water. And I actually like to put water in this Better Homes and Gardens spray bottle. Um, I like to use filtered or like distilled water for cleaning. And I just put it in this distilled bottle and this is my cleaning bottle right so that it's just like ready to go right and if you want to put like essential oils in it or whatever to like give it a good scent for when you're getting out of stain you can do that but this is just my cleaning water right it's my cleaning water <laughs> yeah I have cleaning water I always want you to start with water because water is powerful water is the universal solvent and water is literally the base of everything water can get out most stains so start with water start with water and then use your washcloth or your paper towels for some light abrasion and start there you never want to add unnecessary products unless you have to because you're opening yourself up to maybe harming your fabric so you always want to start with water I just like my cleaning materials to be in cute bottle so this is a glass bottle by better homes and gardens with this little gray base um, you can label it you can put all of your cleaning products in here if you don't like the folex bottle you can put your folex in here but this is where you want to start now if water isn't doing the trick and sometimes water just does not do the trick when you spill an entire bottle of wine on your sofa honestly skip the water the water is not going to do the trick what i want you to do then is i want you to grab the folex and again remember you can take this folex and put it in this bottle because this this bottle isn't very cute it really is not cute so you can put it in this better home and gardens bottle you can get like a series of these bottles right um, and they can just be for cleaning they can just be for upholstery cleaning even if you want to be fancy like that um, but then you want to go in with the folex so if you don't know what folex is it is actually a professional carpet spot remover but you can truly use this on any upholstery always do a test always do a test spray some are inconspicuous but folex is truly a miracle i love to buy secondhand rugs and secondhand upholstery because that stuff is way too expensive right and honestly just the old stuff is better and when i do that i need to give it a deep clean there's always a stain um, I love going to outlets there's always a stain and this can get out super duper old stains in conjunction with another device I'll talk about later but you always want to start with Folex this is a really really good base when it comes to cleaning up any stain really on any type of furniture but especially on white furniture because it doesn't leave any type of residue ring it just gets out the stain and that is it so Folex as I said earlier is a stain remover and it really works on anything you just want to spray the surface um, you want to spray right on top of that stain whatever the stain is so right after spraying that folex you want to go in with your paper towels and see how much you can get up and you want to make sure you're using like an absorbent paper towel right this is this is not where you want to use those paper towels that you skimped on right I feel like everyone has those like the expensive paper towels and the cheap ones and we use the cheap ones for like easy things we, we want to bring out the big guns for this because we want something super absorbent um, that's what we're gonna do with the folex now if the Folex is not doing the trick or if it's doing the trick, but it's not getting it all out, right? Because we spilled an entire bottle of wine. And yes, you guys are watching me ruin my own furniture for the sake of this video so that you guys can see how good these products are from Walmart. Um, you're gonna get your Folex and you're going to spray Folex some more and then you're gonna get out the Bissell Little Green Pro Heat. So this is the Bissell Little Green Pro Heat. So this is a product that you have seen go viral on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube, on all the different platforms. And it's gone viral because it's amazing. Now I bought this for the first time. I bought a rug second hand and it had so many stains on it and it was a white rug. So I was like, if I don't get these stains out, I've just wasted $200, right? Um, and I really didn't wanna waste the $200. So I picked up the Bissell Little Green Pro Heat and 
this thing is, it's, it's magical. There's no other way to put it. What you do with the Bissell Little Green Pro Heat is you put water on one side, so on the right side and on the left side, that is where your waste goes. You turn it on and it has a sucker on it with a little brush and you just spray some of the solution that goes in the Bissell machine on your stain and you suck out the stain. But that's not actually what I'm telling you to do. So I just told you to put down that Folex. What I want you to do is just put your hot water in the Bissell Little Green machine. And then you wanna spray that water on the Folex and use this to suck out the Folex and whatever stain you have. This is like my holy grail. This is what I like to do. Before I use any solutions that come with the Bissell or anything like that, because those solutions can be really expensive, I just use a few sprays of Folex and the Bissell Little Green Pro Heat, and I just use the suction power on this, and nine out of 10 times, it gets the stain out completely. The reason why we wanna use this is when we, are, when we have a deep stain, the paper towel doesn't suck out the moisture out of that upholstery, right? So all, uh, all that moisture kind of went down into the chair into the sofa or something like that and it's you know kind of pooling so this allows you to get out all of that extra moisture so that we don't have like a ring stain or something like that after the fact because there's a lot more moisture stuck in there that we didn't actually see so the Bissell Little Green Pro Heat is like the hidden weapon and it's something I want you to use if you have money for it in the budget it's like the cheapest at Walmart of all places and I've had mine going on for three years now and it's never broken and it holds up super well and it's actually really easy to carry around I will say it's like maybe 10 pounds, I've been in the gym. I'd say that this is about 10 pounds, so it's really easy to carry around, and it really is going to get those really deep stains. So you wanna use this with the Folex first, and then if you wanna use any of the different um, OxyCleans or OxyBoost that you can buy for your Bissell, use it with that. But I'm telling you, the Folex will just do it, but you can also just start with water and see how that does. So when it comes to stains, that is how you're going to troubleshoot this. This always, always, always works, like hands down. You don't need any fancy products, all you need is some water, some paper towels, and the Bissell Little Green Pro Heat, and you should be good to go when it comes to stains. But there are other ways to maintain your white furniture, and we're gonna talk about the products that allow you to do that too. So the next thing you need to maintain your white furniture, obviously, is just a washing machine. And this is something I wanna say because you should be washing your cushion covers. All the cushion covers that can come off of your sofa should be going in the laundry quarterly. Yes, quarterly, you want to be refreshing those linens. And for the base of the sofa, you're probably like, well, how do I get that clean? That's where you're going to use that Bissell Little Green Pro Heat because you can actually clean the entire frame of a sofa. When I actually had, I had two white sofas. I didn't like having two sofas anymore, so I got rid of them. And the way I was able to sell them in a day on Facebook Marketplace after honestly not cleaning one of them very well for a few years was using the Bissell Little Green Pro Heat. It got off every stain that you could ever possibly see on this. It got it out. That's how good it is so that's how you actually want to clean the upholstery on all of your products now we've already talked about stains so let's move on to the other parts of a sofa or upholstery that can kind of get messed up and you're like well what do i do about this and something that is especially glaring on white furniture in particular is the pill so if you don't know what a pill is you can probably see some on my sweater because i didn't pill shave it um because i, I just didn't but Pills can really ruin a piece of furniture, especially white furniture, because pilling happens from your clothes, from your dogs. All of that debris forms these little balls and it kind of sits on top of that furniture. And when it's white furniture, it's black, it's brown, it's a dark color. So you're like, mm, I can see all of the dirt and debris on that and that does not look very good. Well, how do we tackle that? Of course, you can use you know, one of those basic fabric shavers, but they take so much time to do and it really doesn't get off every pill. What I like to use instead is actually this Mainstays Portable Fabric Shaver. So I left it in the package because you guys know I have like a million pill shavers. This is one of my absolute favorites. I'm gonna take it out and show you how to use it, but I did wanna show it to you in the packaging. It is mainstays. It only requires two AA batteries to use it, but what you do is you put it on top of your upholstery and it will get off those pills. It actually shaves them. It doesn't get down into the fabric, so it's not gonna cut your fabric. It's just going to cut the things off that's sitting on top of the fabric. It is really, really powerful. And not only can you use this for your upholstery, but you can also use this on your clothes. So it's a dual purpose. So you're getting the best bang for your buck and there's just a button on the side and all of the debris 
collects in this little canister down here, then you just empty it and you're good to go. But this is how you're gonna get all of the pills and dust off of your furniture that you didn't even know was there. This is like really the main thing that helps a piece of furniture look new again, because it's not the stains that makes a piece of furniture look old, it is the debris that is built up on top. So this is actually going to eliminate all of that. Another really amazing tool for cleaning your white furniture is actually the Shark Wand Vac. So I'm honestly afraid to touch this a little bit because there was a spider and we were having a fight and I, the, the wand vac one. Um, but this is the shark wand vac and this is what I use to get in all the nooks and crannies of my sofas because they're just some parts of the sofa, honestly, that you're too scared to put your hand in or you just don't know what are in the depths of that. And you wanna stick something down there to clean it out, especially if you drop like a piece of chocolate or something like that, you don't want your dog to get it. This is what you're gonna use. This has, it just fits into all the nooks and crannies. That's really all I can say there. It comes with two different attachments. It has a nice little dock that it sits on. So it's really inconspicuous. Mine actually just sits under my kitchen island and you'd never know that it is there but this is what I use to clean my furniture because the like the the fabric attachment that it has is really good it really does get all of the hair and stuff that sits on top of a piece of furniture so I feel like when I use my normal vacuums it doesn't get hair off right um, my wife has really beautiful long hair I love her hair it's absolutely magnificent but it does get everywhere okay and I don't love that for me because I don't have any hair so it, it's never my fault right and getting that hair off it doesn't come off with a pill shaver right because it's not a pill. It's not something to shave off. So this does get that, whereas a normal vacuum just doesn't have always the suction power for a you know piece of hair on a piece of fabric. So that's what I use for that sort of thing. And all of those crumbs that get stuck in the sofa, you're gonna use the wand back for this. And this is about light col colored upholstery. So that doesn't just mean sofas, right? Uh, it could mean a duvet or a duvet cover. So I do wanna also talk about how to get them looking crisp, really, really nice and crisp. Um, because wrinkles also make a piece of furniture not look great, unless that's the kind of vibe that you're going for. If you're into like the modern organic or something like that. But for those of us who like really crisp clean spaces we also need some type of ironing or steamer or something like that of course uh, Walmart has their own steamers um, I love the Conair steamer that they sell at Walmart but that's not actually what I'm talking about today I want to talk about this hot to trot travel iron so this iron is great I take it with me when I travel because when I travel I hate having wrinkled clothes I, I, I don't know I, I find it embarrassing my grandma always told me it was embarrassing to have wrinkled clothes um, and my clothes are wrinkled a lot so <laughs> I make sure to carry this with me when I travel because that I, I used to carry the steamer that I just told you about and it would take off half of my luggage and TSA would be like, ma'am, really? And I'd be like, really. Um, and this is something you can also use on the upholstery. So if you have a slip covered sofa and you really want to get those cr nice, crisp, clean arms, once you put the slip cover back on the sofa, this is actually how you're going to do so, right? Because you'll put it on and you can actually just iron it on top of the sofa. It has all the same settings as a normal, um, iron so you don't have to worry about oh it has a cotton setting and a need linen setting it has all the different settings so that you can adjust accordingly but this is great for curtains um duvets because i love a crisp duvet i love a crisp duvet cover and you can actually just iron right on top of your bed with something like this um which is really fantastic and the cord is a really decent length but for sofas and for curtains especially when they're slip covered i just think this is magnificent so all of these products work in conjunction to help you have a beautiful bright clean upholstery in your home and I'm telling you sure this video was about maintaining white furniture because I have white furniture and white furniture is the most difficult to maintain but all these things also work for non-white furniture none of this is going to stain or bleach your furniture so you don't have to worry about that but these tools are absolutely fantastic they're affordable you can pick them all up from Walmart and they are most of them are one-time purchases right you use these and you kind of have them for the next few years or a lifetime and they do a magnificent job we talked about how to clean the surface level issues the deeper issues and the issues you can't even see in your sofa um, or in your mattress or in your chair or whatever and I absolutely love that so you should walk away from today's video feeling confident about living beautifully in your home living comfortably in your home and actually being able to live in your home and also enjoy the furniture that you invested in so let me know down below if you have any tips to maintaining your upholstery these are my pro tips that have worked for me year after year after year and if you like today's video please don't forget to subscribe like this video and check me out on Instagram and until next time have a beautiful day.